Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shay and you have found my little space on the internet called Turnkey, where we talk all things real estate. We explore homes, the local neighborhoods here in Charleston, South Carolina, and also we dive deep into topics like investing. And whether or not you would say that you are an investor <laughs> or not, when you buy a home, it is one of the biggest decisions that you're going to make. And when you make that decision, that house becomes an asset that will grow in equity. And so therefore everyone's an investor who gets into buying a house. And that kind of spins into today's video. I have playlists of walkthrough videos of new construction homes, and I see a lot of people finding that playlist. And so I thought that a video about what you should expect and be thinking about in noting down when you go to your new home orientation, your walk through before buying your new home construction, your new construction home. And so if you're new to this process and it's likely that you are, then you will find out that about two weeks before you close on the house, you're going to be invited to come to a meeting that a lot of different companies call it different things, but it's called this new home orientation, or if you will, across the board, it's your first walkthrough so that you can see the overall progress of your new home. Now, when you're in there, you're gonna see that pretty much everything's done, but not everything's all buttoned up just yet. And you're gonna go in there and the builder is going to be showing you everything from the exterior to the interior, inside closets, inside the showers and the bathrooms, every nook and cranny to show you the things that they've accomplished. And there's a lot of things that I I want you to be aware of so that when you're getting all of this information dumped on you and you don't know what you don't know and you have the listing agent there that is ultimately representing the builder, you want to be well informed and also be able to advocate for yourself. And honestly, I say this so strongly, please ask, encourage your realtor to go with you if they haven't said that they will. That is what I always do. And I just take a whole entire big list of all the things that we discuss, as well as any kind of information that's going to pop up after you get the keys on your closing day. Anyway, that is a super long intro of everything that's going on in this video, but also on this channel. Let's get into five points of what you want to keep in mind when you go to your first walkthrough of your new home. All right, so this first one's gonna come very naturally. You're gonna want to do a thorough inspection. Check out not only the interior of the house, but also the exterior. Look to the fine details, even especially around window frames, your AC units, your outlets, your ceiling fans, recessed lights, all of these little details around appliances and anything else that isn't a part of the actual framing of the house. You also want to take a look at your cabinets and make sure that they're all even. Some other things that's come up is even like stainless steel on certain appliances and if there's marks on them, paint on the floor, chips in the crown <laughs> molding around bedrooms. Really put on your lens of like a super sleuth looking for the tiniest, finest little details because it's it's naturally going to happen. Humans are making a house and while this is brand new and beautiful, there's going to be naturally little tiny messes that are left behind, whether that's the paint or the dirt off of shoes, or if the ladder hits the wall when they're turning and moving around and painting, things that they might not even notice. Not that anyone's doing this, of course, on purpose, but these are things that you're gonna be looking for with the builder as well as the listing agent and also hopefully your realtor while you are doing this first walkthrough two weeks in advance. That's why they do this two weeks early so that they have time to then accomplish everything that you create on a list. So thorough inspection, and this is where I want want you or your realtor to write a very comprehensive list because at the end of the inspection, at the end of this walkthrough, the builder is going to show you, okay, these are the things that we are going to be fixing. Does this look okay to you? They might have an iPad. They might've been writing it down themselves. And you're going to want to cross reference. A lot of the time people don't do this and they just rely on the builder. And because there's been a lot of information that's just been poured out, it's easy to forget some of those little things. Like if there's paint on a window that's on the third floor in your shower, that's way too high to reach. And it's the paint on the outside of the window of that shower. So cross-reference your list with the builders before you sign off on that document 
because that document is what they're going to be using over the next two weeks to make sure that they fix, repair, and clean all of that stuff. And then before your closing time, usually that same day, two hours before, you're gonna have that list again. And you're gonna go through and make sure, check listing off those things have been finished, done, and look absolutely perfect. So thorough inspection, that's the first point. Let's move on to the second point. Point number two, familiarize yourself with the warranties. The builder is probably gonna bring these up naturally as well, but if not, just have in the back of your mind, well, honestly, the front of your mind, that this is something you wanna leave understanding. They should show you where the paperwork is located, where phone numbers, emergency contacts are, in the process of how to go about doing something after you close on the house if something isn't working the way it should. For example, if your refrigerator goes out or your AC unit goes out, then what do you do? You're gonna to wanna to ask, what do we do? Because these things are brand new. All new home construction companies offer warranties. And pretty much to what my experience has been, has been very comprehensive. But again, that's why you wanna familiarize with this and know what is all covered under the warranties. You also want to understand how long the warranties last. And so for instance, this past home that actually we're coming to close here very soon, they say, hey, after 11 months, yes, if some things pop up, try to wait 11 months because just as the house starts to settle and this, that and whatnot, if it's not like the AC unit, which is like, oh my goodness, you know, we can't live without that. We can't wait 11 months for that. But if it's other things that you notice like little, little movement and the boarding on the floor and maybe there's little like cracks in between like seaming and things as things settle or grouts, maybe there's some cracks that come up in the grout on the floor somewhere. Keep those things all on a list is what they advised so that after, this is just that company specifically, after 11 months they can come in and they can do all of that. Now you're going to have to advocate for yourself after you close on that house your realtor will probably be checking in with you. At least I would be, be like, hey, like, you know, it's been almost a whole year. How's everything been going in your house? Have you seen anything you want to file a warranty claim so that they can come out and fix it? To my experience, this is always a third party and different construction companies work with different companies, but there should be a process. If you think that reaching out to the listing agent she's going to tell the builders what to do and how to fix it. That's not the protocol that they take. It has to run through their company that actually takes care of the warranty part that covers like the insurance company that covers all that stuff. And then through them, they get the message that they need to do this stuff. You do want to keep the contacts that you're having right now on hand, not only your realtor, but the listing agent and the builder if you can. But in the sense of warranties and being familiar with that, you're going to want to know what the new insurance company is and where to find all that contact information. It could be on the breaker box above the breaker box. It could be on the AC unit or the water heaters themselves. It could be on the construction company's site. It could be a phone call away from the listing agent so that they can tell you this stuff. But if you want to have more of a direct line and access to getting things done quickly, then go ahead and ask during this time your walkthrough. Okay, so this is what my warranties cover for how long and if something should arise, what is the most efficient process for me to do that and take action? Point number three, now that you know the warranties of all your appliances and all of the systems that make up your house and keep it working, you want to ask them to demonstrate them to you. So ask them to have the hot water on and turn on the hot water in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, in the sinks in the bathrooms, everywhere where the water is flowing, test it out and make sure that it's running. And if it's supposed to have hot water, that that's also working. You also want to test your stoves. You want to see that your refrigerator is cool. You want to try all of the windows. So put them up and put them down. If there is a gas or an electrical fireplace, try that as well. Everything should be demonstrated and tested. Lights, fans, all of that to make sure that it's working as it should. Pretty simple and to the point with that one. Make sure that you're being demonstrated 
that these appliances and systems in your house work. Flush the toilets. Make sure you flush the toilets too. <laughs> Just remember it. It's, uh, that's, that's another one. Make sure that one works. Something you might want to have with you is the list of customizations that you have decided on throughout this whole entire process. From the first moment you sat down with the listing agent and your realtor and you were shown a menu of things and you picked these kind of finishes for your hardware and you finished and you chose these kind of tile options and you chose this kind of exterior and these kind of pendant lights. You want to keep that in hand when you go there so that you can be checking those off the list as well. They put up these houses really quickly and not that they don't pay attention to detail, but sometimes of course, just, just as human nature is, mistakes happen and that is again what the point of this walkthrough is and so the more prepared that you are with the builder who has a lot of stuff going on and not just you as a customer in mind have that in front of you and be checking off making sure that everything meets your expectation number five is something that i want to stress to you that this is while they might call it a new home orientation and they might do a lot of talking the communication should be open both ways. This is where you can also express your wants, your desires, the things you're not satisfied with, and take pictures, take videos, and make sure that you are showing these things and being just as prompt with the listing agent and the builder and your realtor as much as they are with you. The more information that you can share with them because ultimately they wanna make sure that you are a satisfied customer, that you're a satisfied client, that's what your realtor wants, that you're a satisfied friend because at this point you all are hopefully friends, at least that's how it is for me and my clients. Make sure that in that walkthrough, nothing is left inside your mind and everything has come out so that everybody can be comprehending and having the same thoughts and building on discussion and maybe even stemming off other conversations of like aha oh yeah we need to talk about this talk about this too so take photos take videos and ask all the questions follow up with the agents right away and tell the builder right then and there what you are not satisfied about and what you are satisfied with or what you want to tweak or have cleaned. Um, really point five is to make sure that you're not going in there and just staying quiet because you feel that you don't have the space to talk and advocate for yourself. This is your home after all, and you're spending a whole lot of money and time on it. You wanna make sure that on closing day when you sign, so that you make sure that everything is to your desired expectations and wants. By keeping these points in mind, you can ensure a successful and thorough walkthrough experience for your new home. You wanna make sure that you keep these things in mind and that you make any necessary adjustments, meaning having those conversations, telling those involved so that they can be made so that when you go to close, you are happy and confident with the transition into your new beautiful home. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it if you know other people who are looking at new construction homes. Please leave a comment down below if you are looking to do a new construction home and if you have any questions. I'm a realtor here in South Carolina, but I am more than happy to help anyone and I can give advice in any way that I can. And if there's anything else that you are hoping to see on this channel and have ideas, let me know, never hesitate. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll turn key another day real soon. Bye everyone.